when civilians talk about Memorial Day, it's not just like, oh, this is just for veterans who knew people or Gold Star parents. You, as a citizen, you have an obligation to honor those dead. And you do it by acting like a citizen, by acting like you acknowledge their dead. It, I mean, their names, uh, uh, who they are, uh, it's, it's how they died. It's why they died. They voluntarily did this for us. And all they ask, all anyone asks, is that you conduct yourself, treat people with dignity and respect, you know, go out there and be a part of, of this country. And, and that's really the best way we can honor these guys. Welcome to Miami Beach, Florida, the host city for the 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Pan. As the world emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic, there's added significance to the celebration on this Memorial Day weekend as life starts to return to normal. Along with a chance to once again gather and enjoy this festive atmosphere, this event is first and foremost about remembering the true meaning of Memorial Day and honoring those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. What better way to start the weekend than a mass swearing-in ceremony of 80 recruits on a beach with plenty of military history. So let me just say this. You're standing on sand right now that about 80 years ago, our city turned over to the U.S. military. Do solemnly swear? To support and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. Welcome to the team. Some people associate Memorial Day weekend with the start of summer barbecues and having a good time. Memorial Day weekend to me, it is signifying all of those that have committed the ultimate sacrifice, you know, to defend our nation, to ensure that, you know, we continue with the American way of life and protect our civil liberties, which we cherish so dearly. I mean, and it all starts with the defense. But when you looked out there, and I looked at those 80 future soldiers, it was so inspiring because they raised their hand. They said, I want to join and I want to serve a higher calling. I want to serve to protect everything that we stand for in America. And they've done it on a weekend when they know that it is, we're paying tribute and recognizing those that have paid the ultimate price. It's just so amazing because, you know, it, it is that willingness, that sacrifice that they want to make for our nation. And so when I was up there, I got to tell you, the hair on the back of my neck went up. I looked out there, and then at the end of it, I said, our, our country's in great hands. We're in great hands, and we have a great future because of these young men and women who signed up to serve. As breathtaking as the aqua blue waters of the Atlantic are, most of the crowd will spend the weekend looking up as a seemingly non-stop aerial parade of sophisticated military hardware fills the skies above. And it's not just amazing air and water craft. There are also the highly skilled men and women here this weekend representing almost every branch of the military. We've even got some of our allies joining in this year. The British Red Devils Parachute Team is here performing alongside the U.S. Army's Special Ops Black Daggers and the Golden Knights. As the flags of both nations descend onto the white sand of the landing zone, it's hard not to reflect on the significance of the relationship between these two great nations.
US and UK have pretty much deployed together on every major conflict since World War I. And of course, there's a lot of support and love for the US military in the UK during World War II. When you guys came over and helped us, it's important for us to show our respect to all the US service men and women who have lost their lives in conflict since. It's almost become synonymous with major events. And for nearly 100 years, an appearance by the Goodyear blimp has become a sure sign there's something big happening. The 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes is being brought to you by Hyundai. So much more still to come from world famous Miami Beach as the 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Hyundai, continues. Here's a little question for you. Why are there interstate highways in Hawaii? Yo, I was wondering, why does quicksand work so slowly? They should call it then slow, slow sand. Shouldn't the word ambiguous have more than one meaning? What if we made the first thing you want other drivers to notice unnoticeable until they turn on. Question everything. We did. It's your journey in the all-new Hyundai Tucson, our best Tucson ever. Again, again, Mom. It's raining. Mom, go go party. Yum, yum, yum. Mommy, I spilled. Uh. Oh, no. No, no, no. When are we going to be here? We're here. You coming? I need one second. <sighs> Find new adventures together in the new Santa Fe with user profiles. It's hard to express what it means to me because you know, having gone to war, you understand the sacrifice that people made for us to be able to live in a country where you're free. And I remember being in Korea, some real world stuff happened. They issued us live ammo and I'm just a young airman. I had no idea what was going on. I'm just trying to do my tour and come back home to my wife. And I think that's when my eyes open that this is no kidding what we're called to do and the fact that other people have done this before and we're willing to do it before. Nobody jumps out of bed to try to be a hero, but the opportunities come and those folks have given the ultimate sacrifice. There's a saying I saw, all give some, but some give all. Some people never get a chance to take the uniform off. Being associated with that and having the opportunity to go and come back home, it's a different feeling. And so what I want more than anything is to honor their sacrifice, not only with my service, but with my life. I heard the saying, freedom is not free, and that's for sure. A lot of people I went to Afghanistan with didn't come back. And they're lobbing those bombs over. You know, you, this is for real. I want to honor their sacrifice, and I want to celebrate their lives and what they gave. Welcome back to the National Salute to America's Heroes, here on Miami Beach, Florida, presented by Hyundai. The festive atmosphere on Miami Beach is in full swing, but along with the good times being had by those who are here enjoying this spectacular setting, reminders of the true meaning of Memorial Day weekend, like the U.S. Air Force Honor Guard drill team, are everywhere. With the next flyover just moments away, the crowd gets to enjoy a different kind of aerial acrobatics. Flyboards performing water propulsion flips, spins and synchronized moves, along with an elite jet ski team showing off their own brand of gravity-defying tricks. It's something you hope you'll never have to experience firsthand. But it's nice to know 
the United States Coast Guard is always ready when needed. Using an HC-144 Ocean Sentry and an MH-65 Dolphin helicopter, the team shows the crowd an example of the kind of rescue operation performed by the Coast Guard nearly 20,000 times a year. As the Maritime Security, Search and Rescue, and Law Enforcement branch of the U.S. military, the Coast Guard is also a federal law enforcement agency involved in everything from drug enforcement to immigration, responsible for patrolling more than 100,000 miles of U.S. coastline and inland waterways. The Coast Guard conducts 45 search and rescue operations like this one every day. I think in the quiet moments of a day like today, my mind goes back to the tragedies, you know, the men and women that I've lost under my command. And I think it's beautiful to be sitting on an amazing Miami beach, uh, looking at some incredible hardware. And I think for me, I just need to pause occasionally and just think about what we've lost and what the actual sacrifice means, you know, the funerals, the grieving, the wounded, the, all, all of those sometimes difficult to, to capture in words on a day like today. As if the show just offshore wasn't enough, the Monster Energy Action Zone is serving up some aerial acrobatics of its own. The Keith Sayers Freestyle Motocross team is putting on a show with an assortment of big air jumps, backflips, and tricks that seem to defy gravity. The display village is over four city blocks long and gives those in attendance a chance to get up close and personal with some serious military hardware and a variety of tactical training equipment and simulators. When I think about this day, I think about all of the people who've gone before me, who sacrificed to ensure this experiment called America. My grandfather actually served in the Army, and as a result of his service, I mean, my grandfather was born in 1896, he was elevated to a level that he would never have been elevated to as a black man. For me, Memorial Day is a symbol of all that has been sacrificed for future generations to enjoy, and frankly, also to pass on. Training is mission critical for all branches of the military. And for the Air Force, that means having a variety of aircraft to prepare the next generation of pilots. Planes like the T-1, the T-38, and the T-6 all serve a specific purpose, depending on what type of aircraft an airman is getting ready to fly. These T-6s, for example, are designed to train students in basic flying skills common to Air Force and Navy pilots. When the National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Hyundai, continues, the Marine Corps shows off some serious airborne muscle. If you enjoy wasting time, is it really wasted? If there's an exception to every rule, is there an exception to that rule? Why is it called a pineapple when it's not pine or apple? I just uh, work at a fruit stand. What if we made the first thing you want other drivers to notice unnoticeable until they turn on? Question everything. We did. It's your journey in the all new Hyundai Tucson, our best Tucson ever. What we do in the Army is we crush adolescents. We destroy it. We make men and women. And if you give us your son or daughter, we make the promise to every parent that we are going to love and respect that kid like they're our own. They're going to be our own forever. And we are going to raise a man and a woman 
that's going to be able to handle all the problems in this world. They're not going to be emotionally stunted. They're not going to go out and, and, and go crazy. They're going to handle their problems like responsible adults. They're going to be slow to anger. They're going to be slow to violence. They're going to understand what their role is in the community. Be an individual in the community, and you want veterans in your neighborhood. You want veteran teachers. You want veteran coaches. So we want to promote that and get people to, to get that moral compass. That's what we need. Welcome back to Miami Beach and the National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Hyundai. F-15s are part of the Florida Air National Guard, a reserve component of the Air Force that has five main bases across the state. These citizen airmen are prepared to answer the call for both the governor of Florida for state emergencies and the president in times of crisis. The F-15 Eagle's air superiority is achieved through a mixture of unprecedented maneuverability and acceleration range, weapons, and avionics. It can penetrate enemy defenses and outperform and outfight any current enemy aircraft. To me, Memorial Day symbolizes to remember those that have served, those that never made it back, those that made this country great, and they gave the ultimate sacrifice to our great country. You know, when you see a service person, a service man or woman, that's in uniform and walking, just say thank you to them. A simple thing. These are the greatest people that make up this country. It is a, a great group of individuals that we, we need to remember and thank every day. The Marine Corps certainly knows how to make an entrance just off the shoreline of Miami Beach. The CH-53E Super Stallion is primarily a heavy lift helicopter, powerful enough to lift every aircraft in use by the Marines, except the KC-130. It can carry a 26,000 pound light armored vehicle, 16 tons of cargo, 50 miles and back, or enough combat loaded Marines to lead an assault or humanitarian operation. The stallion is also compact enough to deploy on amphibious assault ships and has the armament speed and agility to qualify as much more than a heavy lifter. Originally founded to serve as an infantry unit aboard Navy vessels, the Marine Corps has grown into a unique branch of the U.S. military that takes on missions on land, water, and in the air. The core values of every Marine in life and battle are honor, courage, and commitment. There may be no better way to sum up what it means to be a Marine than the motto Semper Fidelis, Latin for always faithful. Two words that distinguish the bond developed and shared between Marines. U.S. is extremely important for Hyundai and for Korea. There's lots of close alignment there. But we're really starting to make that deeper investment into the United States, not just selling cars here. And we are now committed. We just made an announcement this last week that we're going to invest $7.4 billion from now until 2025, which is all about electrified platforms, building more vehicles in the U.S. We do have a plant in Montgomery, Alabama. We, we produce our highest volume vehicles there. Very exciting. That'll continue to expand. The infrastructure um, and the investment that Hyundai is making into the United States, which actually gives over 100,000 jobs to Americans today, is a really important one. So we feel very proud about that, and we're excited to see what comes out of all that investment as uh, you know, the auto industry is in an evolution again. So very exciting to see, and we're glad to be participating at that level. The Golden Knights regularly give a lucky person from the community where they're performing a chance to find out exactly what it's like to be part of this world-famous demonstration team. 
Select soldiers are specially trained in tandem parachuting and accelerated freefall techniques, as well as freefall photography. Along with the tandem jumpers, the rest of the team shows off their amazing skill, coordination, and precision timing, free falling as smoke canisters leave colorful trails across the sky. The Golden Knights demonstration team is broken into two groups and, as you can imagine, earning one of these coveted spots is highly competitive. Since their formation in 1959, the Golden Knights have performed at more than 16,000 shows in all 50 states and 48 countries. It's that exposure that makes these soldiers some of the Army's most high-profile ambassadors as they entertain and interact with people all over the world. The 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes is brought to you by Hyundai. Still to come, the Customs Air Marine operations show what it takes to chase down a smuggler. Here's a little question for you. Why are there interstate highways in Hawaii? Yo, I was wondering, why does quicksand work so slowly? They should call it then slow, slow sand. Shouldn't the word ambiguous have more than one meaning? What if we made the first thing you want other drivers to notice unnoticeable until they turn on? Question everything. We did. It's your journey in the all new Hyundai Tucson, our best Tucson ever. Oh, no, 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 no. When are we gonna be here? We're here. You coming? I need one second. <sighs> Find new adventures together in the new Santa Fe with user profiles. My dad served in the Air Force four years, MP, he passed back in 2012, but service was important to him. He did his four years and went on and was a teacher, but he connected with his Air Force buddies later in life. You know, one of the things he looked forward to every year was those reunions every other year, and that, that became important to him, and I, I had the same kind of relational thing with, with my fellow Coast Guardsmen. For me, it's just one of those weekends. He, as a service chief, you never lose track of the, the co cost of freedom, but I think it's just a reminder for society writ large. And I'm excited when you see an event like this that they can celebrate all the capabilities, but do it on a weekend when and everybody can stop and hey, why are we here? What are these men and women in uniform? What do they stand for? And they stand for an ideal. It's a written document. They don't serve a person. We stand a, a set of principles, freedom, liberty, certain inalienable rights. And that, that's what I think about a day like today. Welcome back to the National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Hyundai. As part of the festivities on this Memorial Day weekend, Española Way in Miami Beach plays host to spectators as well as the servicemen and women in attendance for an evening of music, dining, and fun that has something for everyone. One look at our next aircraft and you'll instantly understand how it got its name. The B-52 Stratofortress bomber is a truly massive aircraft with a wingspan of 185 feet, capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds of weapons and has an eye-popping combat range of more than 8,800 miles. This venerable icon of the skies is still one of the Air Force's most reliable workhorses. Almost as old as the Air Force itself, 
the B-52 in many ways symbolizes the branch of the military it so faithfully serves. It's a privilege to talk about just one of the guys I lost, a guy called Martin Bell, who won the George Medal for Gallantry. But he did that because he got caught in a minefield with a critically wounded colleague and he was ordered not to move because there were so many IEDs, improvised explosive devices around. And we were waiting for a high risk search team to go in and clear the area. But he knew his wounded colleague would die if he didn't get to him. And he chose quite deliberately to ignore that order. And he moved, he applied four tourniquets on his two shattered legs, saved Scott Mina's life. But very sadly, on an IED, as we expected he might in the circumstances, uh, lost his life. That for me, is what it's all about. With its instantly identifiable red tail, this P-51 Mustang is a flying tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen, America's first black military pilots. Those barrier-breaking aviators flew more than 15,000 sorties during World War II, earned more than 150 distinguished flying crosses, and were a driving force in the integration of the U.S. military. There's a, a chief here, they have a static display along Collins Avenue out here today, and I went up and talked to the chief. He lost his brother-in-law. He died in an accident um, related to our, our operations up in Alaska a couple years ago. But I lost a Coast Guardsman when I was out in California. I was actually in the air traveling, but it was run down by some Mexican drug smugglers. And uh, yeah, it's very personal. You never forget those experiences. And uh, you know, I think about Coast Guard, we're fortunate. We don't lose a lot of folks, but there's, there's that possibility, that danger every day. But I think about you know, what the men and women, the other armed services as well, my fellow service chiefs, you know, uh, the, their line of business maybe puts them more frequently in those type of situations. So as a, as a senior leader, that is on your mind each and every day, the, the safety, well-being, your people and their families. With a combination of water and aircraft, and some serious high-speed maneuvers, this U.S. Customs and Border Protection Unit is about to put on a wild show with this drug interdiction demonstration. In this simulation, U.S. Customs Marine agents chase drug smuggling suspects on the ocean waters off the beach, while Air and Marine Operations helicopter pilots assist from the air, demonstrating their unique flying ability. These Air and Marine units are part of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. They're ready for anything, protecting our borders from the air, land, and sea. It's not just drug smugglers they're chasing. These teams also help with immigration and protect us from acts of terrorism. Crews work together with other federal, state, and local law enforcement agents to keep our homeland safe. There's plenty more high-flying action still to come when the 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Hyundai, returns. If you enjoy wasting time, is it really wasted? If there's an exception to every rule, is there an exception to that rule? Why is it called a pineapple when it's not pine or apple? I just uh, work at a fruit stand. What if we made the first thing you want other drivers to notice unnoticeable until they turn on? Question everything. We did. It's your journey in the all-new Hyundai Tucson, our best Tucson ever. There's really a, several reasons why an event like this would be important. The first one is it's an opportunity on Memorial Day weekend in a public forum to acknowledge and to account and honor those that have given the ultimate sacrifice for our nation's defense. Less than 1% of our nation serves in all branches of the Department of Defense. So it's an important uh, opportunity to, to recognize and honor that. The second piece is you get those heroes from our, our services. So it's a really good opportunity to have them come out, show their, their equipment, show their uh, skill set, show off their service rivalries 
and work together to show the American public what they're paying for. The last thing it provides us an opportunity to do is to thank and honor the families who, who lost a loved one in defense of our nation. So all three of those things are brought together right here in Miami Beach. Welcome back to the National Salute to America's Heroes here on Miami Beach, Florida, presented by Hyundai. Along with the interactive exhibits and live music, the Display Village also gives the people in attendance an opportunity to meet and talk with some of the men and women of the U.S. military. If you came to the show for pure speed and the roar of twin jet engines, these Marine Corps piloted F-A-18s definitely fit the bill. This multi-role combat aircraft was derived from the YF-17. Both a fighter and a tank aircraft, the F-A-18 is capable of reaching a maximum speed of nearly 1,200 miles per hour. For over 60 years, the KC-135 has been refueling strategic bombers and extending the range of tactical fighter jets. Here we see the Stratotanker flying with four A-10s out of Moody Air Force Base in Georgia. KC-135 includes an in-flight refueling specialist. This airman is tasked with operating a specialized boom out of the back of the aircraft that is used to pump fuel into planes, like these warthogs, at air speeds in excess of 350 miles per hour, and all while flying no more than 20 feet apart. I came from a country, it was Cuba. And that country uh, basically was a great country that and within a very short time just flipped and it became a communist country. And my dad, even though he had some wealth, had to leave everything behind. He came to this great country and it opened his arms up and brought us in. When it did that, it just solidified what this country is all about and the way it protects those that want to seek freedom. And I learned so much as I grew up and admired so much this country that there was no way I could not serve this country. And that's when I decided to join the Marine Corps and because I love my country. And I love being able to have the freedom that you share. And sometimes a lot of people, a lot of people take for granted. But on a day like Memorial Day and a weekend like Memorial Weekend, it is so important to say thank you to so many and remember those that are not here to share what we're sharing with our family here today. When the United States Air Force needs to move a massive amount of cargo or personnel, the C-17 Globemaster is more than up for the job. This four-engine, high-wing transport plane was designed to fly anywhere in the world and is capable of taking off and landing on short or rough runways. With a range of nearly 6,500 miles, the Moose has a maximum payload of about 170,000 pounds. The 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes has been brought to you by Hyundai.
still to come. A true showstopper, the B-2 Stealth Bomber, and three of the world's best parachute teams perform a routine years in the making. Here's a little question for you. Why are there interstate highways in Hawaii? Yo, I was wondering, why does quicksand work so slowly? They should call it then slow, slow sand. Shouldn't the word ambiguous have more than one meaning? What if we made the first thing you want other drivers to notice unnoticeable until they turn on? Question everything. We did. It's your journey in the all new Hyundai Tucson, our best Tucson ever. Yum, yum, yum. Mommy, I spilled. Uh. Oh, no. No, no, no. When are we gonna be here? We're here. You coming? I need one second. <sighs> Find new adventures together in the new Santa Fe with user profiles. Welcome back to the National Salute to America's Heroes presented by Hyundai. Officially kicking off the weekend, a dignitary reception welcomes those who have come to show their support for this annual event. Among those attending, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and U.S. Senator Rick Scott. I especially want to thank every member of uh, the military, people who were, have been on active duty and uh, people that are serving today. It is my incredible honor to present you the key of Miami-Dade County. And we're also going to declare today, May 28th, 2021, George E. Hardy Day in our city. And always look out the right side of that plane and give thanks to the people who stood for freedom and stood for us. All of us at Hyundai share the greatest respect and appreciation for the contributions and sacrifices of those who have served our country. Hyundai is donating $50,000 to Folds of Honor to provide scholarships to spouses and children of America's fallen and disabled service members. We are excited to announce that we recently extended our sponsorship for three more years to 2024. An evening highlighted by inspirational speakers and presentations is capped off with a spectacular fireworks display. What's better than one elite parachute team performing over Miami Beach? How about a unique routine that took several years of planning and joint training featuring three teams from two countries from the U.S. are the Golden Knights and the Black Daggers, while the Red Devils are proudly representing the U.K. The precision of this routine is made even more remarkable when you consider each team uses different equipment and has its own performance style. After watching for just a few moments, you think these men and women have been performing together for years.
Personally, I come from a long generation of military background. All my uncles, grandfathers, as well as my dad has served in the military. My sister and I joined together, so it's always been something very close to our heart to respect the friends and family that we do know that have passed during that time, as well as some of the ones that we have met throughout my sister and I's time. There's a lot of friends and family that deserve every day as a remembrance, not just one day, and it's nice to have a day dedicated to that. When a member of the United States military is in need of rescue, the Air Force Reserve's 920th Power Rescue Team leaps into action. Using a combination of assets, this team is the only DOD entity specifically organized, trained, and equipped to conduct personnel recovery operations hostile or denied areas as its primary mission. The 920th has performed more than 4,000 successful rescue operations since being formed in 1956 and has also saved hundreds more civilians during domestic humanitarian deployments here in the U.S. B-2 Spirit, or Stealth Bomb, looks like something straight out of a sci-fi novel, and its futuristic design never fails to grab the attention of those in attendance whenever it appears overhead. This ultra-modern aircraft isn't just visually stunning. This flying wing design, meaning it has no fuselage or tail, along with a combination of reduced acoustic, infrared, visual, and radar signatures, makes this strategic heavy bomber nearly imperceptible to anti-aircraft defenses. Only a select group of highly skilled aviators make it through the specialized training program each year to earn the title of B-2 pilot. These type of events are important because it gives us a chance to interact with the people. And so we, we create these experiential uh, assets. What we try to do is create an experience for the Air Force because it's not like you can really try it on, right? It's not like a, a Coke that you can try it and just throw it away. We're asking for a real commitment. And so we build these assets to give a chance for our recruiters and some of our operators to come out and talk to people and just answer their questions or just inform them. And so places like Miami where the, there's a huge diversity and when we know their crowds are going to be here, they are, they are tailor-made for us to show up, just not just us, you see the other services here represented, and we're all here for the same thing, just informing and educating the public. And, and doing that in person is a lot different than seeing a commercial or you know just watching a video or clicking on an ad. So that gives us that person-to-person that -person contact. Capping off the show, Four F-15s from the Louisiana Air National Guard put on a performance for the crowd that always amazes. Breathtaking speed, pure acceleration, and jaw-dropping vertical climbs are just some of the hallmarks of this fighter jet.
considered one of the premier National Guard F-15 squadrons in the country. The 159th Fighter Wing has been protecting both the state of Louisiana and the U.S. at large since World War II. Almost all reservists, including the pilots of these sophisticated aircraft and the men and women who work alongside them in the maintenance and support roles, serve part-time while also working full-time civilian jobs. Thank you for watching the 2021 National Salute to America's Heroes, presented by Hyundai, from world-famous Miami Beach.